So guys, I'm uh, going to tell you a wee bit about the uh, inflatable boat I have for the fishing antics. Uh, 12 foot inflatable, very very light, very very light in the trailer, very very light to uh, transport. I do a lot of fishing by myself, so uh, this thing's ideal because it can be taken on and off the trailer uh, by yourself basically. Um, I'm really bad at reversing my trailer so we have the wheels on the back and the wheels on the back are very very handy. Push the, the boat off the trailer, the wheels snap down like that. Slide her off, wheel her down the jetty into the water. Once you get her into the water, it's just a matter of uh, locking your wheels back up again, simply like that. And I must say, these are a great job, really, really good. Out of the way, obviously, we haven't got a motor on her uh, at the minute. I've got a five horsepower Mariner which I use for it, and it's perfect for, for the job. Uh, as I say, really, really easy to get in and out of the water. Go right round to the front here. Where we have our good old eBay style or Facebook style crate where it's been all put together with a milk crate and various plastic crates. This lifts up tons of storage underneath on hooking tools. I do a lot of pike fishing so uh, it's all my hooking tools. A couple of rod holders there. Uh, holder for the anchor. Bag, rope bag at the back. Again, these are all cable tied on to the rack, which means they're very, very easily modified. The whole rack's actually attached to the boat with this, so it can't go anywhere. I have a camera up here, which on an extendable pole, which can go up and down. Uh, a small wee waterproof box, which we've put together. And again, in that, there's a couple of UF, USB uh, sockets there, if you want to power a camera up above or charge your phone. The battery, 12 volt battery, it's down below here, stored in there. And again, that's used to, used to power up uh, the fish finder, which is again, it's uh, an attached fish finder. It's dead easy, it's a couple of tool holders. Uh, fits bang on to the side, clips on there, rock solid. Uh, and the transducer for the fish finder, it's attached to one of these Scotty mounts and really really good job for the transducer down on again again it's cable tied so if you need to take it off it's just a matter of nip the cable ties and take it off and then we have an unhooking cradle uh, again mainly for the pike fishing and uh, that's just bungee ball tied up to the side of the boat can't move anywhere keeps it out of the floor of the boat keeps the boat very very safe and we've got a couple of anglers in it we're not tripping over anything uh, got a wee rod holder there that just slaps in there if fancy doing a bit of trolling there and again and again that's bolted to the seat which means it can be taken off any time and just go around to the other side here where we have the net and again that's a couple of sort of stick on cable tied hook there another tool clip so when you want the lantern that's sort of just lifting it out and again it stays nice and safe and just to be on the safe side we have it uh, tied to the boat, so if it would happen to fall off, we're not going to have to spend 70 quid on another net. So uh, that's basically the uh, inflatable boat setup. So there's tons of room in this boat for uh, two anglers fishing two rods each. Uh, really, really handy to get in and out of the water, and rec recommend one to anybody. Cheers.